Hi everybody, Mike here from Hebden Photography, this time with a really quick tutorial on how to blend two different images together. We're going to start with a picture of an eye. I'm going to open up another photo of a young lady, and what we're going to do is try and blend this picture in with the other one. You can use any two images you like that you think are going to look fantastic. The technique's pretty much going to be the same. What I'm going to do is either hit Control A. If you hit Control A, that'll select your entire image, or you can go up to the Select menu and select All. There's the shortcut there, Control A. Now we could go to Edit or hit Control C, which we can see right here, to copy that image. Back into the eye, which we had open earlier, and you could hit Control V or under the Edit menu, go to Paste. And there we are, we've pasted our image in. You look over here on the layers we can see we still have our eye and we still now we have the uh, the new picture it's a lot different it's uh, it's a lot bigger image than we started with so that's no problem all we're going to do is hit control T and that's uh, for transform we're going to transform that image grab that corner when I hover over this corner you can sort of see the um, the cursor changes to double points this means we're going to affect the diagonal you want to hold down the shift key when you do that. When you hold the shift key, it'll keep the perspective of the original photograph. If you don't hold the shift key, then you can um, you can affect the perspective of the image. I'll change. I'll do it. Show, show you just one time here. First, I'll commit that change that we've done, and create another transform, and then just show you what it's like when I don't hold the shift key. And I try to resize it. This you can end up with. See, I'm, I can squish it or widen it. And you might want that for some things, but for a picture of somebody's face, definitely, uh, I'm not doing her any favors by um, by doing that. So now again, I'll just resize this. Um, for me, I feel like um, she should probably face the other direction. So right click in there and go to flip horizontal, and now she's facing the other way. Just a little bit of a turn. By grabbing beside, you see the arrow changes, the cursor changes to this arrow. That means whenever I click and drag, the photo is going to rotate right around this pin. The neat thing about this pin is you can move it wherever you like. So if you think you got the eye in the perfect spot, then you just put that pin over the eye, and the picture will now rotate right around that eye, which is really, really cool. Okay, so I'm going to commit that, and now we have a picture of... This lovely girl right in the middle of the eye. It doesn't look perfect yet, but if we mask it out by going down to the Add Layer Mask button and clicking that, it adds a mask right on top of the layer. If we then go all the way over to the other side here and pick our brush tool, make sure that we have black as our foreground color. Um, we'll paint at a 100% opacity right over her face. Nice soft brush. If you look at my brush settings here, um, 1%, okay, take it all the way down to zero even. Nice soft brush, and what I want to do is just paint her out. You can see over here that I'm painting on this layer mask. I'm not painting on the picture. If I were to select the picture, then that would be a problem. I'd paint right on the picture. But I select like this, the layer mask, I'm just painting over her face. Or just painting on the mask layer. I'm putting it over her face. Now, here's where the magic happens. Control I. Hit Control I. That'll invert that mask, and now that's all we see is her face. Fantastic, isn't it? Now, if I keep painting um, with black, I can just kind of go around the sides here and soften up the edges. Maybe change the opacity down to. It was 30 some odd percent, and I can paint over here just to kind of darken up, soften the photo just a little bit. And maybe grab the opacity slider, drag it down a little. There we are. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that image at all. Now, if you had it and now you've got it here and you think it needs a little bit of a move, you can grab your move tool. Now that I've taken, not selected the mask, but selected the photo, it'll move with its mask to wherever we think is the appropriate spot. 
flatten that image and we're done there you go you've just blended two images together thanks everybody i'm mike from headman photography have a great day